evening everyone I'm tonight I am not gaming but I am talking about this the oculus quest 2 now the oculus quest 2 um, came out a couple of days ago um, and we got one there we go it's got an oculus quest 2 and we went for the 256 gigabyte version with the battery pack um, head strap as well now have to say after using this for yesterday that it's an absolutely amazing piece of kit now i did own a quest one uh, anyway so uh, actually yeah, two of them i've got one wife had one and um, so we decided to get one of this these as well and it's much more comfortable with this battery pack on as well um and much more powerful it's 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 a brilliant brilliant headset um obviously there are some downsides of owning this and if you buy one now um, you have to log into Facebook, you have to create a Facebook account, you have to have one to actually have one of these now, which isn't ideal, but we've gone, gone for it anyway. But last night I decided to um, put it through the paces on the sim rig as well, so PC, um, using a PC uh, gaming, so with the Oculus Link cable. Um, now, I already have a VR headset which for, for my PC gaming which is the Oculus Rift S and I have a um, HP Reverb G2 on order which should be here in a few weeks time which I'm really looking forward to but the Oculus Quest 2 is supposed to have or does have should I say higher resolution than the Oculus Rift S so I thought I'd put it through its paces and see what it was like as a um, replacement for the Rift S as Oculus are stopping making it. Should I say Facebook have stopped making it? So um, last night I tried it on Automobilista 2. Now I've, I've, I have tried the old Quest with the Link and I wasn't impressed at all. So I thought this one's going to be much better, surely. And it was, um, but surprisingly enough, it wasn't as good as I was expecting it to be, considering this is a higher resolution headset. Um, I mean, at the moment, it's still locked at 72 hertz, and um, the the software for Oculus Link is still in beta. Okay, so they're supposed to be making some updates in soon um, to really um, to open up the headset so it can run at 90 hertz, and hopefully improve the the quality of the resolution because. Although um, this has a higher res, high res um, screens in them compared to the Rift S, it was nowhere near as sharp, and um, there was definitely some fuzziness when you were moving quickly. Now I, I don't have a slouch of a machine. I run a um, high-end PC with a, a, a Nvidia 2080 Ti graphics card, um, and I wasn't any having any problems with frame rate as such. But I did notice some artifacts, and um, it definitely wasn't running as well as or as clear as the Rift S, which I thought was very surprising. Now, Tyrell Woods, if anyone follows him on YouTube, has a little um, a demo there of how to get a bit more out of the Oculus Link um, by using the Oculus Debug tool. To increase the resolution and that did work a little bit it did did help but still nowhere near as clear as the Rift S as far as I was concerned now if you were coming into VR for the first time for sim racing um, and you wanted a headset and you've never used one and any others before absolutely amazing piece of kit this oculus quest 2 you would absolutely love it it would add that immersion that you need but from someone who's already used other headsets um, I, I, I just wasn't good enough for me. Um, I'm hoping that when the Oculus Link um, software gets updated in the next month or so, that that will improve. Um, and because a lot of people I know have are starting to get into VR for simulation, and this is the cheapest route in because you can get the 64 gigabyte version for just 299 pounds, which is extremely cheap although you are signing your life away to Facebook to own one. Um, that's another matter. Anyway, that's my thoughts on the Oculus Quest 2. I think it's a brilliant piece of kit. I think, if you've, as I said, if you've not had a headset before and you're looking to get into sim racing, this is the cheapest route in. 
but um, at the moment the quality is not up there um, considering the specs of the, um, the, the machine and the resolution so hopefully that will change soon um, I'm looking forward to it in about three weeks time cross fingers that the HP Reno G2 arrives for me and I will do a full review of that then okay thanks for watching hope that helps somebody make any decisions on whether to buy an Oculus Quest 2 or not bye